Welcome to Push TV Media where we provide the latest news and dance or related news or anything of that sort. So welcome back to the channel people. Before you move forward, ensure say you drop a like, you know, comment down below, tell us how you're feeling, how you're doing, how your day going. You don't know the thing already people and by the first part of the video you know, people, you can see say these are workers or employees of the national water commission people and as you know people whole heap of people now have water right now over half a million people now have no water right now people and really and truly me now go say the employees them wrong because remember water is life you see me and if you are play around with the people them money you don't know certain or certain things that go on. You see me? And at the same thing, if people are play around with Uno, Uno go on take certain drastic measures. So you don't know the employees them just a do what's best. Although it's not really what's best still, but you have to do what you have to do to be compensated for the work where you are put in. Because nobody not like work and them not get compensated at all, you know. You see me? Worse if a more than years you forget compensated for a certain amount and you still can't get compensated but you see money I go left, right and centre and you don't know where it's going and remember people a them I really deal with the Jamaican customers and you know Jamaican customers not really easy to deal with because you know Jamaican customers head go and come you see me? them head go and come so if you deal with them customer you alone are the problem, you see me? And not to mention, if you deal with people who have teeth in the water and them things there, you see me? So really and truly, as me would have said, the government need to pay up the employees, them, you see me? And make the employees them go about them merry way. Because at the end of the day, it's not the government really running the National Water Commission, they might own it, but they're not running it. You see me? It's a group of people, the employees run the National Water Commission. And remember this again, you have to value your employees because your employees are key to your organization. You know, And it would be the same for the parliament. You know, Your employees are key towards running the country, so you have to respect them in all manner. You know, and you're not going to short a minister of the government. I'm sure about that, but you will probably short somebody who is not uh, of high rank in the country. But, you know, it happens on a regular basis with the nurses, with the police, with the soldiers. So, you know, I saw it come down already, people. But I not really that who come to talk about who, who the government sought out the water issue because what heap of people need water right now? Me here's a couple clinic or hospital under virtual lockdown because them not no water but really and truly people will come to talk about some other issues now when the government sort out the water issue and we hope it sort out by to the people you see me but in other news a woman reported standing in despair and running for cover on monday as she witnessed mass Gunmen murdered her father and Macaulay in st andrew gary matto thomas 48 was standing with a friend near his gate when two men approached and started shooting people. So, Gary Thomas is a father of eight killed in cold blood people. And this no look good people. We don't know where Gary involved in a stain of people. So, we don't really swear for no body people. You see me? But my condolences goes out to Gary family. It's a rough one for you have eight kids and you drop out. And we know you are the breadwinner. You see me? So, it's rough in the streets out there, people. You have to protect your, your 
head back you have to protect your tree you have to watch yourself in the streets because it's rough out there my peeps you see me in other news a saint thomas teen died after a motorcycle he was driving crashed along the prospect main road in the parish today well, yesterday, I should say, he is 15-year-old Chris Miller, a student of the Seaford High School and a resident of the Duane Pen in the parish. His pillion has been hospitalized. The police say about 1 o'clock this afternoon or yesterday afternoon, Miller and his pillion were traveling along the Prospect Main Road behind a grey Toyota Wish motor car, both vehicles heading towards Morant Bay. The driver of the car reportedly indicated to go right side of the road when Miller a, a, allegedly attempted to overtake the car. The police say the bike crashed into the car before slamming into a utility pole. Miller and the pillion were rushed to the Princess Margaret Hospital where he was pronounced dead. So people, it rough out there. Drivers who don't know the 